Look at this. This is what is left of the Mount Beacon Incline Railway in New York here. Um, it was an incline railway that went all the way up Mount Beacon. And there was a casino up there and a bunch of buildings. And I don't know what's left. I think it, it opened in the early 1900s. But then it um, ceased operations in 1978 or something. And then the following year, there was a big fire. So I'm going to go up and see what's still up there. Some of the tracks, as you can see, are still here. So I'm going to show you some of the equipment, some of the machinery is still there. And I'll explain to you some of the history, but pretty interesting place. There you go. I feel like this is, you know, you don't normally see this. This is kind of off in the bushes. The trail is over that way. But uh, here's the original track system and it goes all the way up there. And this is basically what the hike looks like. It's, it's pretty steep in some places, uh, but it's a doable hike. I mean, it's, I think it's about a mile or so to hike up here. And, uh, but well worth it just because it's interesting. But I wanna see what this thing is right here. This looks like it's part of the, uh, the actual incline railroad. It looks like it's a pair of trucks. The wheels, and this looks like it was the frame. Why it would be just ditched here like this? Who knows? I mean, this, I mean, it would be very difficult to get it down, but this thing should be in a beacon museum how it would get here we're about halfway up I'll show you the other side if i can get over there so these cars were built by ramapo iron works uh, here in new york they were 33 feet long and could fit 54 people inside probably easier to see it in the winter time There you go. It's on such a steep incline that it's messing with my gimbal. Okay, moving onward here to the very top where all the mechanics of the incline rail railroad are. And by the way, I've heard that there are some abandoned like hillbilly houses or something up there in the woods. So I'm gonna look for them, see if I can find them. So after doing a little research, I read that it was certainly not a hillbilly colony, but in fact, there were like 20 families who leased property up here and built these summer cottages between 1910 and 1920 and they were pretty prominent people certainly not a you know a, a hillbilly colony or anything like that so when i get up there and show you this this is pretty amazing history i'll tell you a little bit about it all right this i think oh yeah okay this is the old power station whatever engine house to the uh, to the incline railroad, so it came straight up here. Boy, look at its view. So that's the city of Beacon. That's the Hudson River. And I don't know anything else. So apparently, there's still some sort of equipment hoists something up here. Let me get out of your way, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Somebody was taking a picture. So there were two motors inside this powerhouse or engine house, whatever you want to call it. And uh, two electric motors, 75 horsepower each. And they 
pulled those cables, pulled the cars up about 500 feet per minute. So the equipment and the machinery for this incline railway was built by the Otis Elevator Company. And you can still see that name a lot in elevators today. If you go inside an elevator and look for any kind of logo or name, a lot of times you will see Otis. And I believe it opened in 1902. I think it was just one track, although there were different cars coming and going. So they would have a uh, little kind of pull off areas where you could pass each other. It looked like. That's cool for all you engineers out there. It's awesome. Cable would fit in here. This is the second pair of glasses that I've seen. I think people are just mesmerized by the view and they're dropping their glasses. It's a real glasses dropper. So I'm about 100 feet from the uh, inclined plane and this is where the casino slash dance hall building was. So this place closed down in 1978 and then I believe a year later it burned down mysteriously or maybe they know that it was arson but look at the view that this place used to have and this was a big deal back then they, they came from all over to see the sights the views and it was a casino slash dance hall and a restaurant and um, there's a hotel here that was built uh, a little bit later you know the top of the mountain was like a park it had fountains and walkways and, and, and little places to explore and enjoy. Obviously amazing views, apparently 75 miles. That's what it said online. Jeez, that's all that's left. Some of the original wall here. And I just have my eye on some of this stuff. I don't know what that is. Like a, uh, some sort of table or something. I'm kind of curious to see what that is. This is the, um, obviously stuff that had just been pushed down here. But I'm just curious to see what this table is. Okay. I don't know, what do you think? It had uh, some sort of a tank on it. The heck was this thing? I don't know. But some of the original retaining wall to the casino. Hmm. Lots of poison ivy. What the heck is that thing? Let me see, I don't even know if you can see that on the camera. It's this huge steel structure. What the heck is this thing? Let me see here. That's a weird one. Fire escape maybe? See the stairs, the ladder? Could have been pushed down here during the fire. I don't know. Weird. Look how long it's been here though. Look at these trees growing right through it. This place closed in the 70s, so I mean, it had to have some sort of um, fire safety standards. This is an old, uh, I don't know what this is. It's clearly not used anymore. US cable vision. Hmm. Oh, they 
bolted it back up. Let me know what's in there. Bunch of stuff. This sits right behind where the uh, casino was. Oh, look at this. This is used to hold the electrical wires, and it's uh, it completely collapsed. What the heck would cause that? These things usually are good for many, many, many years. Yeah, wow. All right, on my way to the little colony over here, like I said, this was a summer colony built in the early 1900s. There were about 20 families who lived up here. They leased the land from uh, the people who owned the Incline Railway. And they built these cottages right on the side of the mountain. They had amazing views. And these were pretty well-to-do people. Uh, certainly not hillbillies or, or, you know, mountain people or anything like that. In reality, there was... A New Jersey state senator who owned a house here, a, a New York dentist, an army colonel, fairly prominent people. <laughs> Do you think that's the code? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this is the one place I don't really feel comfortable walking on. What is in there? Oh, something moved. It's probably a fox or something in there. Look at the cables holding it up. Wow. This is going at any time. That's what it was. He was making all kinds of noise. I was like, what is that in sound? He scared me half to death. Whoa, he's up here now. He's on the chimney. bird is pretty upset that I'm in here. You'd have to walk in there and I'm not interested in doing that. All right, there's another one down there, so let's check that one out. It's like actually next to the trail. All right, bird, we'll leave you alone. All of the supplies and all of the materials used to build the homes up here were all brought up by the Incline Railway. There were no roads. And uh, I think even in the beginning, they had to have water brought up by the Incline Railway before eventually there was some sort of a plumbing system. And then over time, some of these actually got electricity over the years. I mean, I could do a video on this just in itself because it, it's pretty interesting history. It was definitely a pretty cool community at some point with an amazing view. I mean, you can't see it anymore. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, in a big heap down there, a big pile soon enough. Yeah, there was more stuff all through here. Look, this is old stairway lined with rock. And then there's a platform up there. You can just kind of see it in the middle of the screen. 
How old do you think this is? This old refrigerator. I don't know, 1940s, 1950s. There's no name on it. That's what it looks like to me, at least. Uh, most of those families abandoned these cottages in the 1960s after the corporation who owned this mountain land. Again, it was leased to these 20 families or so. But uh, the corporation decided not to renew the leases and told the families to leave, basically. There was one holdout, Colonel Robert Ray, whose mother or family purchased their home in 1931 and had done a lot of improvements and added on. They added electricity, things like that. He would stay at least a week or two each summer. He fought it in the courts until 1988 when the property was awarded to him. Yeah, this was a pretty awesome little community probably at some point. Just all these little houses. Rat snake. Huh, it didn't take off. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at him sniffing. Snakes are so cool, but they're also so creepy. Look at them. Beautiful. Beautiful snake. I think that's black, black rat snake racer. Let me know. All right, made it back down. Uh, it's not a bad little hike. Don't do it when it's, you know, 85 degrees, but uh, no, it's a, it's a really neat little hike. I think it's like a mile or something. It's kind of steep at some places, but uh, really cool history. And if you come up, don't forget to look for those houses that are off to the side, those uh, the hillbilly mansion. So that's it from the uh, Mount Beacon Incline Railway. See you in the next video.